Let me ask you, what do you think about Copeland uh, being in charge of the Toronto Argonauts? Do you think, do you think that really is going to make a, a difference? Because I know when, when Keith Pelly took over the Argonauts, that was major. That was major. He uh, turned the I think around. the Argonauts, the biggest thing for them is... Is Copeland still, another Keith Pelly or, or not? Yeah, I, I think it's a good thing. Listen, Copeland's done a lot of good things with the CFL right now. Uh, the Toronto Argonauts need to be a relevant organization, franchise. Yeah, but, but, but Keith Pelly kind of was outside the box. He was not in the CFL when he ran the t- Toronto Argonauts, in my view. He, he made them very relevant for... Um, I don't... I, the, the team has... Just, really good just Toronto Entertainment. Yeah, listen, I mean, like, the, the Rogers Centre is not a good football atmosphere. Uh, you don't get the... Yeah, but Keith Pelly negotiated an incredible deal for the Argonauts. He did. He made it the Rogers Centre for free. Well, that, yes, that is true. Um, For free. Yes. So it becomes a great place to fucking play. Yeah. For, in the, based on the fact that you're right, that it was for free. But, you know, you look at, you look, you watch a game. I, I like watching a football game at the Rogers Center. I just think that it wants to do with the uh, efficiency of of, of revenues, right? right. And, and Keith Pelly was very, very strong in getting them a great television contract. Well, television is all TSN airs every game, so um, it, it's sort of I think it's a whole league TV deal. Well, now it's gonna now it's gonna be a little different with uh, you know Bell buying uh, the Argonauts, right? And Bell, of course, owns TSN. So now you've got the company that owns. The station that they play on, owning the yeah, it's the same with the with the Blue Jays and Rogers. That's correct. That is correct. So, so, so I, I'm I'm just saying, do you think Copeland is the guy to bring them to the next level as an employee of one of the most incredible corporations in Canada? I mean, Bell is very I smart. I don't know him, right? I don't. I don't. Well, North Cal, North Cal. Everybody said. You're out of your, you're out of, you're out of your mind. Mm-hmm. It's the best thing that they ever did. Like he, the, the CEO, the, the the CEO at that time I can't remember his name was a genius. Mm-hmm. Because you know what Nortel was yeah. after they were sold. Yeah, worthless. Absolutely, and I think it's a good thing for the Argonauts. I think the biggest thing for them is the new stadium. Well, why do you like Copeland? Why do you like him? Well, because I think he's accomplished. I, like I said, I don't know. Okay, so just for the people who don't know about him, give give me a, a small synopsis of what he's accomplished and who he is and, and why he's going to be the uh, messiah for the team. <laughs> well, I, listen, I think that the fact that he, he's been working with the CFL as closely as he is uh, means he understands the league. He knows the challenges. He knows the challenges of Toronto. Um, and so knowledge and experience, is that what you're saying? Someone who understands what you're up against. And I think that's what's, that's what's big for the Argus. He's, he's a guy who's going to care about the position. Um, you know, he, he's filled the rules uh, for Bell, for the Kilmer group. Um, he'll basically be the – he'll assume ownership of the Argus at the end of the year. And he has, uh, you know, again, his resume. Well, it's a pretty big corporation. When, when you get hired by – Bell Global Media, right? Yeah, that's a pretty big corporation, you know. And 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 you're you're the top guy for a brand new acquisition. That's got to say a lot about you. You know what I'm saying? The most important thing is that right now Copeland's the president and chief operating officer of the of the CFL, right? So he's already responsible for all of the league's business operations. So again, he understands everything that's going to go into this. And I think he'll do a great job as president and CEO next year because he, he's he's qualified. He's not someone who's coming in here, with, you know, from from the United States or from somewhere else and not really understanding what this position needs. And I think the Argos, when they were owned by obviously Braley, who also owned the the BC Lions, you just weren't getting enough. So he, so you would say no, no, you couldn't do extremely it. well versed. When it comes to the CFL, he knows that that yes, business inside out. inside out. What you're saying? Yes. Fair enough. 